Right, today I've done a requested video because somebody asked me could I do a video on one of these. Um, so I bought one to find out what it was. Um, it's a Czech M10 hose, or M10M hose, whichever one you want it for. And it's to do something with the mask to connect it to something, and nobody really knows what these are for from what I found out online. I suspect it's for a rebreather. So you get the hose, one end has a kind of screw thread on, so we'll see if a ghost filter goes onto that in a minute. One has this kind of cup thing, will this go on the mask at this end, who knows. Um, and then you've got this weird metal plate with a screw thread in here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the plate off here, out the bag, and then we're going to have a look at that. Okay, so this plate's two-sided. And what this seems to be is obviously on the M10 where the uh, exhale valves go into the cheek filters. This is to go into one of those. Um, but it's not totally solid, so it has a hole that you can see through there. So I'm not quite sure what this does. This is all very weird. Um, let's see. Can we connect this screw to this? Is this what it connects to? I mean, I'm going to see if this will connect to a filter, actually, in a second, because it looks like it might. This is all very odd. Uh, maybe if we try it the other way around. Now that doesn't make a solid connection with this hose either, so I don't think it's to connect that to at that end. Unless the hose goes into this section, I think that's more likely. Right, okay. I think maybe the hose attaches to this side. You have this big clunky piece of metal sticking out of the gas mask um, unless there's some way you can actually remove this thing from the metal but there's not two on here there's only one which seems a bit stupid um, and then you can connect one side to a filter maybe um, so let me try that now and we'll see if there's any uh, logic to that well this has to be the most bizarre attachment I've ever seen basically you have this go on one side of the mask or maybe you're meant to have two and how it actually works is you have to stretch this bit over one of these filter intakes. So you still keep the cheek filter in the mask. And then it has a 40mm GOSS connector at one side. So you could either attach it to a filter, but I am still assuming this is designed for a rebreather. How it works. So that goes on there, onto the cheek filter sort of cap. Uh, the other bit... I still have no clue what this is for, because uh, that's obviously got a hole through that, so air would go through it, but I really can't figure out what this thing does. Maybe if you took the cheek, cheek filter out one side you could sort of shove that in the filter intake opening, but I still don't see what it would actually do, because it's got a hole so it would let air through just bizarre. This thing is just bizarre. <laughs> As I said I expect you're actually meant to buy two of these and then you can connect them each side to a rebreather bag but it just doesn't make sense. It's really weird. So there you go. Yes if you bought two of these you could connect your Check M10 to two separate uh, filters or a rebreather bag maybe but what would be the point? Because you've still got to have the cheek filters in there, so then you've got this even more annoying, irritating thing. Uh, just to prove this works, if I do that I can still breathe through the side, so this does work. I suppose if I can somehow cover up both sides at once. Yeah, that does restrict my breathing a bit, but I can't cover up both sides properly at once. But, yeah, this thing is bizarre. I have no idea why they made it. Um, but if you wanted your Czech M10 to be even more clumsy and awkward, um, there you go. This is the uh, probably best way of doing it. Maybe I can find some other use of this hose, though, that might actually be interesting.